nothing new from McGee, not since Delmonico's. I hear he's left the city and starting life out west under a new name. <laughs> My Juliet. Well, if it isn't Romeo. Uh, 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 uh. What are you doing these days? What I'm always doing, thinking of you. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> yes, I've even had a song composed in your honor. Oh, really? When do you serenade me? Right now. All right, boys. <clears throat> Sweet rosy oak gray, my dear little rose. She's my steady lady, most everyone knows. And uh, when we get married, how happy we'll be. I love sweet rosy oak gray. And Rosie O'Grady loves a me. Did you like that, new lady? Lovely, but please don't play it in my alley anymore. A cheap song like that. What's he trying to do, ruin you? In a mild way, I suppose. But you know, I'm beginning to like him. He doesn't know what he's licked. Oh, Rosie grows stronger. McGee must be back with a gazette. Look what he's doing to me now. First installment. Read the romance of the century between Juliet Marlowe and the gazette's own Romeo McGee. Oh, pink paper. Everything's in the pink. That means they'll show you in pink tights. McGee's even making the police gazette blush. Oh, Madeline, be sensible. Give up this silly feud. Give up? Do you know to whom you're talking? Not only was my father an O'Grady, my mother was a Flanagan. <laughs>